<laughs> you don't mind if I eat while I talk to you? Fine. So lately, me and my brother have been going on walks after eight. I like eight. We leave, we leave at like eight because we like walking in the dark. It's fun. You should try it if you haven't. So we've been doing that regularly. And I enjoy it because interesting, th in interesting things happen. Fascinating things. So last time we went on a walk, um, we were walking. We had gone quite far when we saw a car. It was parked. Two girls were getting out of it. And these girls looked as if they were in prom dresses. <laughs> now, I don't know when prom is. I don't... I don't know anything about prom. I'm homeschooled. I'm homeschooled. Don't judge. I don't think... I don't, I, I don't, they weren't going to a prom. They weren't at a prom. Maybe they had been to a prom, but they weren't, they definitely weren't at a prom. They, uh, went, yeah. <laughs> they, it looked like they were arriving to something. They were pretty nice dresses. So they arrived and they went, uh, to like, into the big house. I don't know if they went into the house. I think they went into the house through the garage, but they didn't park and there were other cars lined up too. I don't know what they were doing. But they parked, they ran across the lawn, get to the garage, and I think they went inside the house. By the way, when we walked by them, I smiled at one of the girls that was getting out of the driver's seat, and she did not smile back. She just, she didn't. It was a very rude interaction, you'd have to be there. I was dressed like a 14 year old boy, kind of. I had sweatpants, a leather jacket, and a beanie on. It was cold, and I didn't want my ears to freeze, so I got a beanie. The leather jacket might have been much. And I was riding a scooter, so I looked really cool, in my opinion. If you're riding a scooter, you automatically look way cooler. So I probably looked like a 14-year-old boy walking next to my 12-year-old brother. So we rode by them, and then we went up, or I rode, he walked. We went up a little bit further. We took a right, so we would come back around and go back the same way to the house. So when we went up the street, I was looking over at all the parked cars to see what was up, and there was a big van that was there when we went past it, and it was still there, and it uh, had the big words, Deluxe Limousine on it. The, uh, the windows were kind of tinted. Tinted, is that the right thing? There, yeah, you could not see through the windows, and we were going past it, and I looked inside. It looked like there was a little disco party going on in there. I don't know what this is. And so I kind of came to my own little conclusion slash assumption that it was a party bus, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Well, I know nothing about proms, but I know about party buses. And because the driver was just sitting in, in it on his phone. And I don't know if there were people inside. It was kind of small. I don't know. But there were lights in it flashing like purple and blue and green and yellow and purple and blue colors, multiple colors, all at different times. So my mind immediately went, immediately, party bus. I don't know if that's where those girls were going because after we came back around, which it had been maybe 15, 20 minutes, the girls left. They went to their car. I don't know if they left, but they went back to their car. They were at their car. I don't remember if they got in their car. They might have gotten in their car. I don't know. I assumed it was like a little event someone put on the internet. Like, come to my party bus. Come to the party wagon. <laughs> come to the party bus. We'll have a grand old time for 20 minutes. I just thought that story was interesting. And it's more proof that I need to get out more. You might find party buses if you leave the house more. I just thought of something. But I'll ignore it. Have a nice day.